<laughs> okay. Ron May just did 112k with a basic attack because of the break damage. That was crazy. This might kill him, maybe. Oh, 243. She be doing something. It's time for God mode Ron May. One of the main things I wanted to focus on for the video is E1 and what this actually does. It says, while the ultimate's field is deployed, the damage dealt by all allies ignores 20% of the target's defense. We, of course, also will be trying the new slash final stages of Memory of Chaos. So that should be pretty exciting as well. In terms of everything else, I kind of just was playing with her in between raising and God mode. So I actually raised her traces already, raised her signature light cone and gave her that. A quick refresher of her stats. Here it's mainly just speed. We have 140 and 217 break effect, which might be a little overkill, but not really that much since you need a minimum of 180. We still do have an energy regeneration rope. Don't need to go break effect when you already have plenty. Usually when I'm testing something like this, I want it to be in as a controlled state as possible. Same team, same enemy, same buffs when we ultimately do the attack. Though using a testing mythology like this, the actual difference won't be that impressive regardless. We'll probably just go with a three person team. Fushun just there so we don't die, but I want to have as little variables as possible. I think Memory of Chaos actually would be a good testing ground. Same enemy every time. I don't want to go to a too hard one though, like maybe a six would be good. We're not going to use any technique points. We're just going to go into battle. We will of course need to look at damage after using her ultimate. We have 11 buffs, one debuff taking a screenshot of his current stats so we make sure everything is the same for the next run. And we're just going to do a normal basic attack. I'm pretty sure both crit there, so we uh, did, did a 12k hit. Now we're just going to activate this idle on. So in ultimate mode, that attack will just do the same thing, but now ignore 20% of the target's defense. All right, we're back to the same point. Let's make sure we have everything. Still 11 buffs, one debuff. The stats from my screenshot line up exactly, so we have the exact same thing. It's just that pedals to stream, repose in dream has been upgraded to also include ignore 20% of target's death. So what does that actually do? Let's just do a single target and find out here. Those were both crits. We got a 13.4k up from 12k, which doesn't feel like that huge of a difference, but it's still an 11.6% actual damage increase, which is honestly pretty huge. I guess to put that in perspective, let's take a basically unbuffed Don and let's see what a basic does here. They were both crits. We got a 5760. From her E, we actually got a lot of buffs, 75% damage boost and 18% attack from his own dragon's call. So let's go ahead and do another basic. 85.74. From the 75% damage boost and the 18% attack, we only got a 48% actual damage increase, which is still, of course, really huge and just goes to show Rod May is an incredible support. It's just that you can't always take the numbers at face value. And if you remember, after getting Rod May's ultimate, we actually hit a 13.4k up from 8574 so just the res pin and death ignore gave us a 56 percent damage increase this is all just to say basically that the rarer the buff like death ignore or re resistance penetration the better straight damage buffs are very nice but they're also very common unfortunately i can't keep going back and forth from e1 and e0 to keep comparing so that's where we're gonna have to leave this for now i imagine though if you have death reducers like pella or silver wolf it might be less effective because you are technically ignoring less defense. From what I could find about this, Death Ignore and Death Reduction do share the same stat, basically, which is also apparently different in Genshin's case, but I still prefer Ron May because it's a buff to your teammates as opposed to a debuff to the enemy. So it doesn't matter if the enemy that you Death Reduce dies and you move on to the next cycle, you'll still have that buff for as long as it lasts. But all right, enough nerd speak. Let's go ahead and start with floor 10, though I do still kind of have to respect the weaknesses. Since we have Ice Weakness here, we're probably going to go with my sort of uh, Pella Jingliu team here, almost mono ice. And then we'll take Silver Wolf because yeah, no good weaknesses. This floor is already proving to be pretty damn tough. These two, they just launched both of their attacks at the same time. That was that, that was pretty scary there. Finally, we got an imaginary weakness the first time in the entire battle. Uh, I don't think we did super well on cycles. No, we did not. Uh, we used six. Really hoping this one goes a little faster. We'll see. I would say this probably is the better team, but four cycles is still a little rough. Woo! We got a 183 Jingliu, but also I do have to keep in mind that Ron May's break damage is included in, in that total damage, I believe, and at least one of them did get broken there, so... Man, we almost... Did we save a cycle? No, I, I don't think we did. Nope, we're at 22. They died right at the end. That was so sad. <laughs> okay, Ron May just did 112k with a basic attack because of the break damage. That was crazy. Maybe we have a chance here. 50% left. We have one cycle to go. We can do that. And then an ultimate as well. Oh, and we got a damage boost from that one. That was really nice. 
This might kill him, maybe. Oh, 243. <laughs> that she, 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 she be doing something. Wow, okay, that was really good. But that was only floor 10. There's 11 and 12 now. I don't know how I'm going to do that. We have imaginary weakness here. We might just leave the teams how they are and ice weakness. Okay, this is actually pretty good. I don't think we'll need silver wolf actually. We're gonna throw Hanya in there. Jesus, what are they doing? What are they doing to me? Oh my God. They are broken now. They're gonna take a little extra damage. Yeah, we got a 161. That was pretty good. This is only the first wave though. This should definitely kill, right? And we don't use that cycle. Yes. Whew, that was close. And now we got Gapard. That thing does way too much damage. I swear to God. It Actually, if we can like hurry up here, this could be a four cycle battle. I'd be happy with that. Especially because again, I think this team isn't even as strong as the other one. Oh, Jesus Christ. Gapard's back up and he's going ham. All right, but we got Branya ultimate. We should get uh, Imbibitor ultimate after this attack as well. That might just kill him maybe. Oh man, should have done it on that dude. So there's no way that's going to kill. It's going to be five cycle, which I think we, we can still deal with. Oh no, the deer. I didn't even see that. I didn't even see we, we have to fight the deer. He's so scary. It's crazy how fast these enemies are getting broken though. We've done like two attacks and look at the, and look at the ape. He'll almost be broken just with this. Actually will be now. I'm going to target this one to do more break damage because monkey will be broken anyway. Now we can get her ultimate and, and really start doing some damage. Let's go ahead and interrupt him. Do ultimate break. 221. Again, some of that damage is actually Ron May. Don't one shot, please don't one shot. Oh, that's right. We have Fushrin in our team. <laughs> uh, now we got the deer. The deer is broken already. It's so, it's so good. Can do Ron May's ultimate again, which means uh, we're gonna go ahead and do her burst as well now. Definitely, definitely pretty solid. Oh, going in the second phase already. We have already used a couple cycles though. So we should really try to not let the deer get an ultimate off because our Fushwin could die then. But that's actually pretty easy because we can just break him constantly. Oh no, wait, wait. Oh, go, 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 go. The, the thing has both of its fruits. Uh, I'm so glad we had the uh, weakness break extender debuff that Rodney also provides. 23 cycles remaining. Actually, 11 went a lot easier than I thought it would. But now for the final, final floor, I guess we're actually sticking with the same teams. Ice weakness, imaginary weakness. I really do want to do some runs with like Rodney and Inhibitor, but it just doesn't make sense. Level 95 Kafka. Oh my god! <laughs> so much damage! Uh, can we break that horse? Yes. Yeah, we unfortunately will also use a cycle here, but... I mean, not too bad, I guess. We're still on the 28th cycle going into the final wave. Nothing of what's happening here is, 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 is good. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, oh no! Ow. Oh, Jesus. No, no! Damn it! Okay, that's that's nice. We could break that dude. This time we actually can break Kafka. I mean, she's just gonna get back up, but at least not do... Oh. Oh my god. Oh man, he's gonna kill someone. No, stop, 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 please. God! Just try again, hope to get lucky. <laughs> I don't know, I think a defensive support would make it take too long. We'll try anyway. Yeah, we did need an extra cycle. Maybe it's okay, I don't know. Yeah, we survived, but uh, we have 23 cycles left. <laughs> I don't think this team is that much better. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> whatever. Two cycles for uh, boss here. Not, not likely. We have one cycle for the last phase, but that's never going to work. Oh man, if the first cycle was just a little faster though. No, I think we needed an extra one because the uh, cycle change thing actually killed him. Still would have been fast enough if the first team was was also fast though. Maybe I should raise Welt. He might kind of work there. Not at level 40, but yeah. Well, I do still want to try Imbibitor with Ron May, so let's see how they do against Kafka. Usually I would have Branya there as well, but I kind of want Branya in second half. Uh, yeah, I mean, we didn't really need less cycles, I think, but it was really close. Let's see how this battle goes. Yeah, I mean, this might be a four cycle here. Wow, okay. Man, Ronme is so stupidly, like, strong. That's crazy. I guess we could have just gotten luckier, but, like, besides Ronme, nothing else changed. Just swapped poor Branya out. Um, I guess we'll see how this side goes. We have six cycles, though. Like... Yeah, uh, we're on the 24th cycle currently with the bug. I'm not sure. That first wave took one cycle too, too many. Uh, 
Yeah, that's definitely not going to work. Even if my Pella could survive, which she's probably not going to, there's just like no way. I'm going to give up for now. I think it's possible with the first team I was trying with a bit of luck and them like just evenly di uh, distributing their attacks to everyone. I'm going to try some more before it ends, but we have like 31 days. So, I mean, I'm not sure what to say. Like the team Ron May was in just had way more success. I think more than her damage boost is the weakness break efficiency. Like it just feels like the enemies are getting broken so quickly. And she herself, especially for being a support, is doing solid damage herself. Uh, when the enemies are getting weakness broken. So it's like, she is an insane character, like really. But yeah, from what I experienced there, she is <laughs> very much objectively better than Branya. I would say in basically every situation. I did have a bit of a section in the racing mode where I was like, yeah, she is better, but like, you know, different situations and everything. But but yeah, honestly, I think Ron may just absolutely obliterates Branya. Though I still think Branya is a really good support and, you know, there are two sides. You can't have Ron May in both. And for content where you're only taking one team, I'd probably just take them both, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you think about Ron May in the comments down below. Dropping a like or subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks. As always for watching, and until next time.